What's up guys, it's your bud Brendan from Modern to Me, and real quick, I just wanted to show you, show you, I moved my console up from the bottom here, you might want to do that too, I don't know, just in case you didn't know, you can drag these windows around, you could, uh, you could put it down here if you wanted to, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it right there, just thought, I don't know, in case you want to know that, you can do that, and it's really handy. But in this tutorial, we are going to be discussing something called self-operators. And it uh, sounds kind of weird, you might not know what it is, but uh, let's say you have a number and you just want to double that number, but you, you want that doubled number to go into the same variable. Or let's say you, ha you have a variable and you just want to add five to that variable. Well, what you could do, let me uh, clear out this code real quick. If you have an uh, int, just name it num, is equal to uh, seven, and if you wanted to double that, you could go uh, num is equal to num times two, and this is perfectly valid code. This would work, and uh, if you output num, you will be able to see, if we run this program, you can see that we get 14, so we get exactly what we want. So that works perfectly, uh, but there's an, a little bit easier of a way to do this, and it's definitely something that you should know. If you just go here, let me just clear this out. I don't want to confuse you here. If you type num, and you actually do asterisk equal two, it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Well, let's uh, let's change this number here just so you can see. So we should get 16. And we get 16 over here, so it works. It works perfect. So uh, basically, that reads just as if you would write something like, put a comment here. We learned comments a while ago. Num plus space. Num equal num times two. It would uh it would be the same thing. This is this is the exact same as this right here. So this is just a little bit shorter, and it, it's uh. It's a little bit more readable, it's less redundant than writing num twice. So it's great that this feature is here. So we could also do plus equal to. Um, and if we run this, you'll see you get 10. We could do minus equal to. And if you run this, you get six. So you can see that this is just doing the same thing, like num is equal to num minus two. It's, they're all the same. And the last one is obviously uh, dividing. And if you run that, you'll see that you get four. Uh, there's actually one more with the percent sign in case any of you great Java programs are out there, you'll know that there's one more with the percent sign. And, uh, but uh, we're, we're not gonna get into that. That's a totally different operator. And you'll learn that in a later tutorial. Uh, so that's it. It's uh, nothing complicated. That's all you need to know. And uh, join me for next tutorial and I will see you there.